Sir, I need to talk to you for a minute. Bobby, please, come in. Have a seat. I want to ask you to leave for a break. Just a few days. Where are you going? Nowhere. So what do you need days for? I just need some days out of office. Well, you can work from home, no problem. No, I... I need to stop for a few weeks. To... Reconnect with myself. Well, I just read the muscle report and I think the only thing you need to reconnect with right now is your sales. I'm not happy. Excuse me? I'm not happy here, sir. I don't like what I do. I don't... I feel sad when I come in the morning. I'm not passionate about my work. You don't like it anymore here? No. Did you like it when you started? Yeah, I liked it. The job or the check? The... Yeah, the job. Uh, all right. I don't know. Maybe I could have a new position. Mm -hmm. Something that fits more to my personality. And what would that be? Always up in everybody's shit? <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. Chief Happiness Officer. What's that again? I'll be the one who makes sure that everybody is happy and very comfortable at work. I'll be good at that job. Uh -huh. Well, let me ask. Hello? Hey, John. Yes. Are you happy? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay, thank you. I mean, I don't know. I Hello? Linda, how you doing? I'm fine. Hey, are you happy? I think so. Yeah? I, I, I don't know. Okay, I mean, thank I, you. I mean, I don't know. I All right. Seems like people are happy. Yeah, I see what you do. It's not just about being happy. It's about building a whole team spirit. <gasps> we could do a team building. A team building. Wow, what do you want to build, Bobby? Something that puts us together. Um, like an escape game. Look, Bobby, the only thing I really want to escape right now is this office at 6 p.m. So, may I? I want to leave the city, sir. Yes, everybody wants to leave the city, buy a huge house for two cents, and wake up every day with the sounds of birds. Quality of living, they call it. Yes, I think I'm done with all this madness. Okay, Bobby, what do you want to do? You want to go to the country? Do some yoga, meditation, sit in weird positions for hours, breathe in, breathe out some stupid air, have very deep conversation with cows and plants, Connect your soul with fake spirits until you need some real money and get back to me. That's what you want. Huh? You don't understand, sir. Happiness at work is so important. I don't understand you. When you took the job, did you read the contract? What? The contract. The piece of paper you signed before you started. Remember? Y yes, what about it? What does it say? That you owe me work and a lot of other shit that you people don't read. And I owe you money. And a lot of other shit that we people put there on purpose. I guess. I don't think happiness is one of them. Yeah, but... Bobby, did I promise you happiness or not? No, you didn't. So what your happiness has to do with me? Can you tell me that? It's part of the moral contract. No, it's not. I promised my ex-wife faithfulness. And for the last five years, I was screwing everything that looked like a woman from north to south, east to west. That's what I call a breach of moral contract. So for the last time, Bobby, can you stop whining in my office and get back to work? Thank you. With all due respect, you can't make me love this job, sir. I'm going to complain today to the human resources and you will have no choice but let me go. How about that? I'm going to make everyone testify about what they live here. The pressure, the extra hours, everything. Martha is very attached to real values. Sir, you're going to talk to Martha? I'm afraid I'm going to do that, sir. You leave me no choice. All right. Human resources, please. Martha, hello, darling. How are you? 
Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, you're going on holidays today. Lovely. Where are you going? Bali. Tomorrow? Oh, wonderful. I love that country. I've been there many times. I'll send you some tips, okay? <laughs> hey, how's your little boy? What's his name again? Randall. Yeah, Randall. How is he? Is he good? Okay, okay. You know what? I was thinking about him today because I have two extra tickets for a basketball game tonight. The Lakers. Do you think he might like it? Get out of here. LeBron James fan? No way! Oh, for real? Hey, you know what? I can't promise anything, but I think I can get him a pass for the locker rooms. Would he love that? Huh? How about that to start holidays? Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, no, that's nothing, you know. You, uh, you got me out of a lot of situations, Martha. <laughs> Oh, it's my pleasure. Just a little gesture. Family thing. <laughs> hey, well, one more thing. Bobby has this issue he wants to talk about with you. Uh, I'll let you handle it and get back to me if you need anything, all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have to leave in 15 minutes if you don't want to miss the game. Oh, Bobby will make sure he won't make you late. Don't worry about it. Okay, then. Enjoy Bali. <laughs> hey, you send pictures. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, bye, Martha. Bye. Uh, what a lovely woman. <laughs> she has to live in 15 minutes. You don't want a young basketball fan to miss LeBron James, do you?